So the fun thing about this level, down and out, is the password is so self-aware it is hilarious. Guy Fawkes, beware. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to that other than, my goodness. Be good if I was actually typing in my name for the save. Anyways, so, Guy Fawkes, beware. What are you looking at my for, Imogen? We've got puzzles to do. So, we've got a bowl over there. And we've got a stick over there. This one is a little tricky because I know you can do it out of order. But from memory, what we want to start with is the cat. So we take the cat, we grab the bowl. Grab the monkey, go up the ropes, and then we grab the stick. And this is this this is the part I always need to be very careful about because I think. I think from memory, I can actually minimize the amount of magic I'm wasting here if I change into... Oh no, regardless of what time, side I do it on, it's still going to be a bit of a problem. So if I turn into the cat, go over the... Yeah, even if I try to go the other side, it's still going to fall over. So I've got to turn in the image in, grab the bowl, throw it in the gunpowder. I've got a bowl of gunpowder. Change into the cat to go back over the TNT, to then change back into the monkey, to then climb up the road. You can see how easily you can burn through a lot of magic in this game, and especially in terms of my old playthrough, that was something I came very close to doing to a point where I inadvertently convinced myself I had messed up the game and that I couldn't finish. No. I used my last bit of magic changing into the monkey. What? Oh no. I'm not going to do that this time, and my commentary has approved greatly that I know better than to assume these kinds of things now. So, we've got a torch there, we've got a wooden block there stopping us from getting the crystal. First things first, grab the bowl of gunpowder, put it on the block. Grab the stick. Light the stick. It's smoking now, as you can see. And now that means that if we take it over to the gunpowder, it should explode. Bingo. Well, we've got a bowl we can never do anything with, and a stick we can never do anything else with, but most importantly, we got the crystal. Alrighty. What is the next pot of coal? Awesome. Follow me. I do like this one, and I believe it's monkey business? Monkey friend. I was close. Okay, this one is easy to muck up the timing for, so I'm going to be extra careful here. Because we've got to get this monkey friend to follow us. But from memory... That might prove to be a little bit difficult. So first things first, all the monkeys love the banana. So we've got to go and get the banana. So, step one, grab the banana. Step two... We have to turn over the cat to get over the cannonballs, which is a bit of a bummer, but I mean, we'll deal with it for the sake of getting the puzzle done. And finally, of course, we've got to follow through with the namesake of the level, which is, of course, follow me. So in, in typical Oddworld fashion, we have to be the Abe and we have to treat this monkey like our monkey budokin. Dun, 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 dun. And all that requires is just holding the banana, and waiting for him to come into this screen. Grab onto the rope, change into a cat, and jump across. Wonderful. So if we don't muck this bit up, we're good, and we're over the top. Fantastic. Oh boy. So, where to next? Why, I believe this is the location of Images Missing Transformation. I'm not referring to the dragon, I am instead referring to that duck there, and I will explain why when we get there. But nevertheless, we have the levels to get on with. So our magic's sitting at about 86, which, given how we've been doing the puzzles, I think there's maybe two, three magic at most that I could have saved up to this point. But so far I'm pretty okay with our ratio, I think we can still make it work, that's the important thing. Because now we're in a situation where there is a little bit of forced magic use, but otherwise I think we can get through this fairly quickly. So Duck Egg Blues is a pretty fun one because of Ducky over there. Again, who is in the password because it's Ducky time, but regardless. So we have to turn the image in to throw this small egg at this large egg. 
And there's no two ways about it, we've got to turn into the monkey, go back down, pick up the egg and throw it a second time to knock it out of the nest. That is, that is a bit annoying because it means that's four bits of forced magic that we need to use. To throw that egg at the egg. And of course, the cat's the only one who can get the height for that jump, so we've got to change to the cat for this jump here as well. And then completely muff it up! Lovely! Hit the cat, do the jump please, thank you. Okay. So, I'm watching you, ducky. So we'll change to the monkey, make our way up this rope, and then just gotta wait for ducky to come back. Come here, ducky! Change to the duck! We have flight! We have the pause screen, that's not what I was going for. No, I don't wanna quit! None of that nonsense, thank you very much. Okay, enter key to fly. That's why I was having trouble. One, I hit the space bar, and two, I hit it over the save load button. That's not helpful. Okay. Bring Ducky over to where the crystal is. Hop, 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 hop. Net, dip, dip, dip. Ducky, you are hard to control. You are very hard to control the way you do this. Anyways. Ducky time is done. From memory, next should be... Ah, yes. From ducky time to dinner time. We are here. For Pavlov was here. Okay, this one's pretty fun. Um, I need the cat to get over that rock regardless, so we'll do that. And Pavlov is going to be over here, right next to the exit. Yes. Not to be confused with Fido. Not to be confused with Fido. They're in different trials. It totally counts. Anyways, so... Important thing to remember with this, uh, I've got to make sure I don't balk up my positioning. There we go. So I've got to go up. I can't remember, I think I have to hit the bell from the left hand side, but first things first, we need something to ring the bell with, because we can whack it into the walls all day, but without a gonger, we're not gonna do anything about it, so we'll grab that first. And make our way right back over to here. Okay, so we've got to go onto the rope here, down, and then I'm going to do a nice solid jump to the top of it and knock it off. Perfect! I'm on this side, I'm not sure if that's going to... Yeah, I'm going to have to turn to the cat to knock it over. That could have gone better. Awesome cat skills for the win! Golly, and then we've just got to hit the gong to tell Pavlov that it's dinner time. Delightful. Right. Now while you drool progressively into an umbrella, I have places to be and crystals to collect, so... Fare thee well, Pavlov! Don't let your st tongue stick out too long, it'll dry out. Next up... Tender hooks! Oh, I love tender hooks. Nuts. <laughs> I love how the password is nuts as opposed to hooks, that's kind of... I love how the fact that it captures the humour that this original game had in it and then it exemplifies it for the XP version, that's so fun. Yeah, I remember playing this on my old XP, that's how far back I go with this game. It's fantastic. But... You seem to very much like this... The ring here. And I'm very bad at aiming the magnet. Which is annoying, because I kind of would like that ring, thank you very much. Come on, Mr. Seal. Not- ah! Too late. Too late. Gotta catch as it goes past. None of this nonsense, thank you very much. Burr. That is not- that is not the- that is not. It's just not. It's just not. Unacceptable! Burr. And brrr, and then brrr. There we go, thank you very much. And like, even for a BBC Micro game, it had so much personality because you grab the hook and then like the, the seal just looks at you and is like, you, you took my ring away. Why did you take my ring? <laughs> Bless him. Poor little seal. Okay. Now the fun part. Learning to ledge. Now the fun part. <laughs> Learning to ledge. Oh boy. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Throwing the ring at the hooks. Hurry up. Thank you. 
And of course, we've got to repeat that again, so I've got to make sure I grab it from the bottom there without hitting the floor. Go to this next platform and repeat again. I used to always be very nervous about the positioning for this. But there we go! Now, I don't believe I need the ring for the next bit, but I'm going to grab it just in case. We've been making a pretty good habit of leaving with items we don't necessarily need. Nah, there we go. We're done. Again. There's another crystal. We're done again. We're all down to 66 magic, which I'm pretty pleased about, quite frankly. So, next up, I think it's going to take us to this one. Baboonacy. Oh my goodness. Of all the levels I've done... This is one, by far, I am happy to restart if it causes me too much frustration. The timing for this is an absolute pain. This monkey needs to be out of the way for us to keep going, and I cannot rightly remember, but I believe these cannonballs here? Cannonball fun. The password for this level is a lie. It is a bold-faced lie. Everything that the cannonball gets thrown at, it will explode on contact with. The monkey will only ever throw... Okay, the baboon will only throw one. Even if we go back, he's still going to wait until we don't have one in our inventory. What we need to do right now is use this cannonball to distract this monkey so he goes down the rope, go back for another one, and go over the top. The timing for this is finicky. And we are very tight on time for it, so the quicker we can do this, the better. And my goodness, that monkey can climb like it's no one's business. Thank you. Fingers crossed we can get this done quickly. This is where I remember losing a lot of my magic the last time I let's play this. So, fingers crossed, everything comes together perfectly, and we don't get knocked back when we get to the- Yes! Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Speaking of Abe's Odyssey, monkeys zigzagging back and forth like meat sauce. Two, three, ah, oof. And then jump. Uh, no, no. No! Yes! Made it. Perfect. So all we need to do now is go over to here. Boom! Okay. That is forced magic we unfortunately cannot avoid wasting, but I have in the past been so close to the brick wall that when I bring out the cannonball, it just explodes in my face and knocks me down. Or just my spacing knocks me down and I haven't even used the cannonball, and that kind of sucks. But that's the worst of them done. I'm glad for that. Applesauce! Oh, I do love me some applesauce. This one is, yeah, hard apple. Thought so. As opposed to bad apple, which is easily one of my favorite Toho songs, but nevertheless, we have a dear bunny to deal with. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I've been doing this for quite a while. To be fair, some apple juice for the throat would be great right about now. But I'm not going to be picky. I'm going to be pippy. No, I'm not, actually. I'm just going to go past this bunny, I'm going to grab onto the vine, and I'm going to climb over the top of it. There we go. Wonderful. So first things first, what we need to do is get some applesauce going here. And that primarily means we need to grab an apple. Now, yeah, fingers crossed. Yes. Knock this off here. That falls down. Give it another kick. Eek. Perfect. And that apple effectively acts as our platform to get out of here. Which I'm happy for. See, the number of times I've played this game, I've had it cycle through in such a way that Apple Source has been my first level. And to be fair, difficulty-wise, it's pretty on par with uh, something like Balloonacy, if not a little bit more forgiving as well by comparison. That way out sign is way off, um, because we are nowhere near the, uh, the end game of the oops. Yeah, I can't make that jump as a monkey. I need to go on this rock as a cat. I am not too fond of the magic being used up in this fashion over here, but you know what? I'll deal with it because we are getting there. We are making progress and we are steadily collecting our crystals. Imogen is finally reforming himself from the nonsense of being the dragon that he has had to deal with, and that finally means that when he comes out of here, he might be a little more sane in the head. Um, give or take on the slight bits of animal abuse we've been dealing with, which to be fair, is not going to stop anytime soon. That was different. Okay, game, sure, I will remember that for future reference. That was very strange. <laughs> 